Hey guys, it's Christine with Indigo Wings Healing, and this is the energy reading for, um, let's see, today is October 22nd through, I think we're going to go through probably the 27th or 28th. Um, I'm totally winging this right now. I usually look at the calendar beforehand and I totally did it. Um, I know I'm getting this up a little bit late. Um, I'm getting this out on Monday versus the weekend. Um, let's see, I'm going to think for a second if I can picture a calendar in my head. Today's, actually today's the 21st, I'm sorry. No, today's the 22nd. <laughs> sorry guys. Okay, so this is going to go through, let's see, yeah, like the 28th, okay. I was right. Um, one thing that I really want to talk to you guys about really quickly before we go into the video is um, we have a really big full moon coming up on the 24th and it's full moon in Taurus and you know this is yeah, you know, how, how many times do they say there's a significant moon coming up? I feel like there's always something significant happening. Um, but there is a really interesting... This moon is interesting because it's really going to be pushing people to do something different. Do something different than what they've been doing in the past so that they can move in a new direction. Um, and there's definitely already a lot of stuff out there on this full moon in Taurus, so you can check it out for yourself. I don't want to, you know, ramble too much or repeat too much, but people are going to be given an opportunity. It, it's going to be, you know, much more introspective, um, going within versus things happening outside where you know you have an opportunity to kind of look at where you have been and where you want to go and you know things are going to have to change if you want to be able to move forward um, and grow and that's kind of um, what's going to be looked at and what's going to be stirred up with this um, moon so with that uh, this is a reading for Twin Flames, Soulmates, Divine Love, whatever you consider yourself to be or whatever, however you want to look at that type of connection. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this reading resonates with whomever is watching it, but it may not resonate with everyone because it is a general reading for a large number of people. So if it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. It's just not the reading for you. Um, if you are interested in um, getting a personal reading with me, um, all of my description or all of my information will be in the description box below. And I am offering a special um, on a two month ahead taroscope, love taroscope reading. So it'll be for November and December. It's only available through the 31st for purchase, so that information will be down in the description box as well. I'm offering it for only $40, which is a crazy deal. So if you feel called to that, send me an email and we'll get that set up. So the first card that comes up for the Divine Feminine is this energy of new vitality. This card is a one. We have new beginnings. And... The clarifying card that I pulled here is the Four of Wands. And I feel like this year for many of the Divine Feminine has been anything but um, calm and peaceful. I feel like it has been a roller coaster for a lot of you. And I think that some of you are going to be kind of influenced and inspired by this full moon to em embody this new energy and, and to kind of start approaching things in your life in a new way. Like I feel like you're going to be looking at how you can change 
things in your life to better suit you who you and, and not just who you are now but who you want to become and you know this four of wands this is you know the the goal the direction that you're going in you want peace you want joy you want happiness you want contentment because I do feel like this last year has been the opposite of peaceful and you know and I think that some of you are in this place where you're feeling like there's something that you've been working toward and it just hasn't really been working out and you're ready to change how you've been looking at that and, and say you know what I want my life to be different I want to experience something different than what I'm feeling right now and so um, I think that this card is really um, a great example of some of what we will be looking at with this uh, full moon and Taurus energy so the Divine Masculine, we have uh, Seek the Truth for their energy. This is a seven being on the right path. And with this Seek the Truth energy, I really feel, you know, like again, this is, you know, an example of what people will be kind of seeing with this full moon energy this wanting to get to the bottom of where they want to go and how they want to you know expand and grow and improve and with this seek the truth i feel this like like a sense of antsiness that they're missing something that will be the key to their future or the key to their growth. I feel like they're very antsy to get to the bottom of like almost like how to master their life in a way. And the clarifying card that came out here is the three of wands. And you know, I think that they are going to find some of what it is that they're looking for, but I don't know how quickly they're going to be looking to put things in action to make changes. I feel like there's still going to be a little bit of sitting back and, and seeing how things are unfolding around them. Um, you know, like I feel like they're going to have this feeling of, okay, I think I'm on the right track here, but let me just wait. Like, let me just wait before I take the next step. You know, I feel like they just want to observe. And, you know, for some of them, I'm hearing like they want to let the dust settle, but I don't don't know if the dust is ever really going to settle because I feel like this whole year has just been like very energetically intense and I think that they'll come to that conclusion but that's just kind of where they are right now is you know this is where I am I know I want to be somewhere else how you know and, and trying to get to the bottom of how to make that happen the combined energy of both the divine masculine and the divine feminine is take the lead which i think um, again is a really good like the card is just i guess synchronistic is maybe the word i'm looking for but i'm not you know what i'm what i'm having in my head and in my heart it's just not like coming to me and the like regular words um but it's like you're going to you're going to both be like this place where you want to move in a new direction like you know you know where you've been you don't want to go back there you want new experiences you want 
to grow, you want to do new things, etc., etc. Like, you know, this is all part of this full moon and Taurus that we have coming up this week. And so both of you are going to be feeling this urge to really take control of what you're doing. Like, in, in some cases, this is going to be people taking action. And then in some cases, this is just, you know, figuring out the next step. Um, you know, and I feel like I kind of spell it out a little bit with, with the new vitality and the Seek the Truth card. I do feel like the Divine Feminine is going to be, you know, ready to move into that piece of, that place of peace and joy and, you know, what does she need to do to get there? Um, the Divine Masculine are still trying to, you know, get to the bottom, but regardless it's like they're both taking control of the aspects in their lives that they can um you know and it's i feel like very much it's you know not playing the victim and being open to the opportunities that are coming to you and not just being open to what's coming to you but being proactive and bringing about the changes that you're looking for you know not just sitting back and um waiting for them to come to you and so you know and i know i said that with the divine masculine that you know they're not going to take action right away but then i also said um you know they're going to figure it out that they're going to have to take action um to get what it is that they want but both both it's this overwhelming energy of just like being ready to just get your shit together <laughs> basically like you're just ready to be out of the muck that you've been in the clarifying card that comes out for take the lead is the queen of cups and you know i do feel like you're you're going to be kind of driven by this this no, like this inner knowing um you know the the queen of cups is very psychic she's very loving and i think that you know this is going to be coming from a very strong place of you know just having a knowing that you're ready to move to the next level. The um, near energy for um, this union, uh, three cards came out. We had the sacral chakra, we have move, and we have success and growth. And, you know, I think that as these new energies are coming to you and you know you're making these decisions for changes moving towards what you want you know it's really like i'm really seeing here that you're you're taking control of what you desire and you're moving toward it so whatever it is that that looks like for you i don't feel like this is specifically saying um you know divine masculine and divine feminine coming together but it's moving toward your you know moving closer toward your desires taking control and having confidence that you you know you deserve the things that you are um, desiring like that you you're worthy of those things um, I'm definitely picking up you know sexual energy and for some of you that could definitely be the case and then the other card that came out here is success and growth and you know it's it's almost like a well duh kind of moment as i'm looking at this because like of course like you're going to be much more um you're going to be much more likely to 
be successful and see growth and continue to grow as you are moving closer to your desires and you're seeing the things that you desire um, you know take shape and and you're seeing these things happen before you whatever it is um, like of course and I feel like it's going to give you more confidence to continue on this new path that the full moon in Taurus is kind of stirring up. Um, okay, so the clarifying cards that we pulled out here, we have the King of Cups and the Lovers. And I'm really feeling like for many of you, there is a decision that you're making to be... Um, you know, really living from your heart and being very open-hearted and trustworthy and and coming from a really, like a really strong, solid choice that you are, like, it's like just a really, a very clear choice to be, you know, living in this state of um, being open-hearted and moving in the direction of what is going to grow you. You know, we do have the lovers as, um, you know, indicating intimate relationships, but really I feel like it's indicating that there's a really big um, choice being made here. You know, the lovers is also, um, you know, a really big decision or choice. And, you know, I think that something that is going to kind of tilt the situation is being in that space of just love, you know, and, and living from a pure heart. So I pulled an oracle card, two came out for just kind of like the overall messages, kind of tying everything together for this reading. And the one card that came out was slow down. And this card says, when you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. And I can see a lot of people hearing a reading like this, getting super excited. And as you're going through these changes, getting really excited and wanting to maybe skip ahead and get to the, get to the stuff that's coming. But you, you, this is all happening the way it's supposed to happen. You know, the, and the divine masculine is slowing down you know they're not necessarily taking steps right away so you know just don't be like too overly excited to like you know speed down the path because being on the path and walking it is just as much of a part of your growth as getting to the goal is but then the other card that came out is the union of hearts and I really feel like this is kind of what's happening here especially with the combined energy and the near future energy we have the queen of cups the king of cups and the lovers like yeah like this is a union of hearts and this card says that there is a connection of love that defies explanation and when we're talking about these types of connections like how how true is that like i i feel like there's never been a more clear statement on um, this type of connection then this is a connection of love that defies any actual explanation so I think this is good I feel like the energy is is moving into a better place with this retrograde you know we're moving out of the Scorpio and I want to say I think it's the 29th that um, Venus retrograde is going to move into Libra, which is where it's more comfortable. So I'm not surprised to see this with the full moon and then with um, that Venus transit. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have um, any interest in getting a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did or if you just liked it, um, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. 
Um, the more people who like my videos, the more people can see them. So help me kind of get the word out to those you think would benefit from it. And also, you know, if you have any comments, I would love to hear from you. I love hearing um, from the people who watch these. So um, remember that I do have the special for the uh, two-month tarot scope, love tarot scope for November and December. It'll be $40. Inf information is in the description box below. Um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next week with uh, the next energy reading.